up YouTube, Dubstep Slap 415, back again with another Sneakerhead Saturday. Let's go ahead and jump straight into today's pickups. First couple pickups today are two books. We got a special commemorative issue of the San Francisco Treat to celebrate the Giants winning their second World Series in three years. This is a very nice, high quality photo issue of the magazine. Tons of high quality pictures with uh, some great stories about the season from start to finish. Got Bochi holding the World Series trophy right there. And then on the back, got Pablo holding the MVP trophy. So definitely recommend that for anyone who's a Giants fan. I believe you can pick those up at a Safeway or any local grocery store. Next up, we got the Army of the Deadstock book from Freehand Profit and B. Salah. Threw in a couple stickers, Army of the Deadstock as well. There is no recreation. And this is uh, probably one of the sickest books I've purchased recently. A nice surprise was that I opened it up. And uh, both Freehand and B. Salah had signed it. it. says, Michael, thanks for marching with the Army of the Deads. So, people who don't know Freehand Prophet, he's the one that's been making the gnarly shoe masks you've been seeing on the sneaker websites. This is just a book basically going into explanation of all of his different art great combination of sneakers and art in this book I definitely recommend this it's uh, available on freehandprofit.bigcartel.com that'll be down in the description so you can just click the link and head over there before I continue on with my pickups I want to briefly mention that my fellow size 13 member Suicidal1 is having a raffle currently on his channel it is running for 48 hours and it is ending at 11.59 tomorrow night, Sunday, December 2nd. This video was posted up last night. Basically, tickets are $5. You're allowed five tickets max. And the raffle is for the LeBron 10 Dunkman. This won't be the only raffle he'll be having. He's just testing the waters as of now. So head over there and go ahead and buy a ticket. The most you can spend is 25 bucks and get a free pair of shoes, or you can spend as little as five and get a pair of shoes. Definitely worth it. Head over to Suicidal One. The link will be in the description to his raffle video. Those who follow me at Dubstep Slot 415 on Instagram and Twitter would have seen these a couple days ago. I got a package from Emmanuel Labor, www.emmanuellabor.com. He sent me out two very cool sneaker pillows. On the right, you guys can see we got a pink foam posit pillow. The bottom portion right here is black. Then we got the top with the pink grooves matching the foam posit. We also have a very, very clean galaxy print sneaker pillow. Got your fade up to your little asteroid. My favorite part is the back glows in the dark. I will show you guys that glowing in the dark in a little bit but I want to explain a little bit about the pillows. These are 12 by 12. They're offered in three sizes 12 by 12, 18 by 18, and 24 by 24. A 12 by 12 pillow is $40 a 18 by 18 pillow is 55 and a 24 by 24 is 70 dollars he can do almost any foam posit colorway except for the pair norman foams as of now but for all you foam heads almost any other foam colorway can be done it's got a few different galaxy themes not only this one but at the same time, he's also doing custom orders. So 
people who like to have those little accessories just to accentuate their love for sneakers like me, I definitely recommend heading over to Emmanuel Labor and checking out some of his sneaker pillows. Moving on into the tees, what we got here is an El Capi logo tee in black and white, but the logo is glow in the dark. I'll show you guys that glowing along with the pillow glowing in the dark right now. Get your booty on the floor tonight, make my day. Oh, Very clean shirt. This is a high quality print. You can feel the logo raised. It's not going to be something that's just going to wash out. So big props to El Capi using quality tees. Next up, we got the Jordan head tee from El Capi. I bought these on his recent Black Friday sale. Also, he gave his first 12 customers sample keychain pieces. I luckily was one of the first 12 and I received an all red Jordan 6 keychain. Very dope. Big shout out to El Capi for that. But the Jordan head T, very unique. We've seen the design. Got the girls sucking on some Jordan 3s. Last T before we get into the pairs. We got a Cali Mob T from Big J ASC here on YouTube. I gotta give him a big thanks. He saw this T and thought of me, thought I would like it. So he went ahead and shipped it out. We got Cali Mob going across in some old English. Got your California bear with your uh, bandana pattern in the middle. Your red star dripping. Size extra large, Mob Incorporated. Super dope tee. Really appreciate it, homie. Once again, thanks to Big J. Starting with the middle row. We got two Nike SB boxes on the right. This is a new release. Nike Dunk High Pro SB, Game Royal, Game Royal, and Black. I actually thought it was kind of funny that these didn't come in a blue box. But we got the Nike SB Eiffel 65 Dunks. You guys remember that old band, Eiffel 65, with the song I'm Blue. Play a little bit of it now. I'm blue, so your whole shoe is a uh, blue nubuck minus your tumbled leather swoosh and your uh, smooth leather on your back heel. I don't believe, actually I was mistaken, you got the smooth leather going around the toe and your nubuck is on your uh, toe box, mid panel and the top portion of the heel. All blue tongue, all blue laces, Nike SB, Dunk High Pro in black. The extra laces are black, and I think that would really complement the black midsole, black outsole. No blue Nike SB hit. I was actually kind of surprised about that. But uh, let me know if you guys think I should put the black laces in. Blue box. Nike Dunk High Pro SB, white, varsity red, medium denim, and black. Pick these up off Craigslist. Got the Nike SB Cheech and Chongs. This is a dead stock pair. Got the extra green laces. Little bit of yellowing on the sole, but hey, that's not too bad. The black laces, denim tongue. Nike SB Dunk High Pro in black on your red tab. Got your bandana pattern material on your back heel to represent Tommy Chong. And then Cheech Marin's character. Got the beanie material on the right shoe. Can't forget Nike SB did throw in a stash pocket. And then you also have, let's see if I can give you guys a shot, your smoke insole. 
So very nice release. Hopefully Nike SB comes out with a hot release for 420 this year. One of my favorite holidays. Finishing off the second row, we got a Nike SB silver box and a brown Nike box. Let's do the brown Nike box first. Air foam posit one, pearlized pink, metallic silver, black and white. Got to give a shout out to my boy Tommy over at grailstatus.com. They also just made a YouTube grail status here on YouTube to do high def videos to show their products for anyone who wants to see them. But you can also check them out at grailstatus.com. So we got the pink pearlized foam posit ones, your metallic silver or white lines on your pull tab, heel tab, line going down the center and your Nike swoosh. Got your pink penny logo on the tongue, on the back, and then your pink and white logo on the sole. Real nice release. You guys know I show a lot of support for breast cancer, so I was definitely going to triple up on these, especially because I got one pair out to my dude Smooth Tip. You guys will see those soon. Nike Silver Box. Wheat metallic gold, size 13. See the inside, with the green wood grain. There was wood grain on this paper, it's just kind of fading. But here we go, the Nike SB Lucky 7 Dunks. I went ahead and laced these up because I do plan on rocking these. It's your green bottom sole, your wheat midsole, and onto the upper. Dope metallic gold on your swoosh, eyelets going around your toe and your back heel, as well as your little gold pull tab. You then have a ridiculously nice suede on your mid panel top of the heel and toe box. This is from the Lucky Series. So you've got your Lucky 7 stitched in green. I am looking for Unlucky 13s, size 13, either dead stock or VNDS. So please hit me up if you're looking to sell. It's your gold tab with Nike stitched on gold laces or wheat laces with your wheat inner lining. The extra laces on these are green. If you guys think I should put in the green laces over the wheat colored ones, comment down below and let me know. But super, super stoked I was able to track these down. I've been looking for a long time. Hopefully the unluckies don't take as long. Getting into the left side. Got a Jordan flight box. Got to give a shout out to my dude, Suicidal One. Looked out big for me on this. Air Jordan 4 Retro, black, cement gray, and fire red. These are from Champs. See the jump man with the white flight. Got a size 13 pair of the bread fours. I still do have that size 14 for my other video. I'm willing to keep that, but if someone has a dead stock, never tried on, never unlaced, size 13 pair that they're looking to swap, contact me through PM or on Twitter or Instagram at dubstepslot415. But, got the size 13 pair right here. Real, real nice release in my opinion. Got your red jump man with your white flight. Your hang tag that so many people care about. Jordan 4 bottom. Standard. But very glad to have a size 13. A couple of them actually. And uh, won't be too upset 
if I have to settle with that 14, but if I can get my hands on a third size 13, I would prefer that. All right, moving on to the brown Nike box. Move these out of the way. Nike Air Penny 5, black, game royal, and white. Again, got to shout out my dude Tommy at grailstatus.com. Orlando Penny 5s. Wasn't really looking to cop these unless I could find them cheap. And uh, my boy Tommy looked out. Hooked me up for below retail. That's your icy bottom. Your blue and white penny logo. Carbon fiber hit right there. Very clean colorway. From Orlando myself. So I got to show support. Always been a fan of the blue, white, and black. Blue, white, and black penny logo. Your insole. State of Tennessee, Penny 5. You know the other insole says ballin' is what I was born to do. So very happy I was able to scoop those. Last two Jordans today. The one on the left came out yesterday. Most of you know what those are. The one on the right came out a few weeks ago, but I had to double up on it. Air Jordan 9 Retro, white. Dark Cayenne and University Gold. Air Jordan 9, Bentley Ellis, Crawfish. One of my favorite colorways out of the Alter Ego pack. I actually do put these above the Motorboat Jones. That's just me. Bentley Ellis on the tongue. You guys know, Crawfish on the inside. University Gold 23. Not sure if I'm going to double up on the motorboats, but uh, this was a definite. RG3 is doing work for me in fantasy. So, just another reason to cop. Pull those to the side. Alright. First off, before I get into this pair, I got to give a big, big shout out to Turk. AKA Bay Coast 415, B E Y C O A S T 415. I'm going to put his YouTube channel as well as his Instagram in the description. Go follow him on Instagram and subscribe to him on YouTube. Without further ado, Air Jordan 9 Retro DB, white, metallic gold, and black. Suggested retail 175. Got the original receipt from Nike San Francisco 175, 189.98 with tax. First off, we got Oswaldo Jimenez, our Dornbecker Jordan designer. He suffers from pulmonary hypertension have a little description right here you want to pause and read that yourself also got some info about the Dornbecker foundation so you've got your normal Jordan paper but they actually did take a step out of the LeBron book and used two pieces of paper so here we go with the Dornbecker 9s. These are absolutely ridiculous in hand. Pictures did these things no justice. First, you guys see we have an awesome feather design going around the bottom portion of the 9, the Nubuck material. The back is 17 for Oswaldo's favorite number your gold globe jump man the left shoe says Oswaldo and the right shoe says Jimenez for his Mexican heritage the left shoe is icy with red 
The right shoe is icy with green. It's your gold jump man. His nickname is Poyito, meaning little chicken. This amazing white upper is 3M. And that was a little bit of a surprise to me. Didn't see too many pictures with a flash before. So that was a nice uh, treat. Got another gold Jumpman right there. Your gold eyelets, metallic gold eyelets. You see the shine on them. And on the back, you got September 13th on the tongue. I believe that's Oswaldo's birthday. So big props to you, man. You did an amazing job on this design. One of my favorite. Two pairs of LeBrons today. On the right, we got a LeBron 8 V1 box. On the left, a LeBron 10. These officially released today. LeBron 10, black, metallic, silver, and anthracite. Getting into the LeBron 10. We got gray paper with your black LeBron 10 logo as well as your LJ crown. Double paper as always. And we've got the black diamond carbon LeBron 10. Right off the bat, you see no textured swoosh or lace lock. So this is a $180 version. Your solid black outsole with your visible air unit to your black air bubble. Your midsole is black. And then you've got your nice metallic swoosh outlined in black as well as the LJ crown logo stitched on in metallic silver. I think it would have been nice if the black laces would have had uh, metallic silver dots inside silver swoosh mainly a blackout shoe but got your metallic silver accents finally your black carbon your C6 on your back heel so really looking forward to some more LeBron colorways very pleased with the ones released so far the LeBron 8 V1 before those two show you the tag retro black pink flash and filament green. You guys saw the tag. These need no introduction. LeBron 8 South Beaches. This is a worn pair. I picked this up for a ridiculous price at a local Craigslist sale. Got your translucent bottom, a little bit of yellowing at the heel, and a little bit on the toe. It actually looks worse on camera. Got your white 8 your pink lion face, your filament green upper, the smooth, or not smooth, but nice quality tumbled leather on your back heel, your mid portion, and the toe. These did only come with the pink laces, but I don't have an issue with that. You guys know LeBron James, James on the left, LeBron on the right. Got your lion, the face that's textured, pink eyes, the pink pinstripe going around, pink LeBron signature with a pink Nike swoosh. So very glad I was able to find a worn pair so I could keep my DS pairs crispy. Last two pairs today. On the left, orange Nike box. On the right, multicolored Nike box. Let's do the orange Nike box first because I think less people have seen these. Got your Nike basketball promo tag. It's a Hyperdunk 2010. Anthracite black vivid blue and volt with sole in parentheses. These are promo Hyperdunks made to commemorate the Soul Collector Forum's 10 year anniversary and their uh, 200,000 member benchmark. 
There are a lot of little details on this shoe, which make it very nice. Got your Soul Collector S on the tongue. 2010 for the year these were released. Got the 200K on your laces. Translucent Vivid Blue outsole with a ridiculous color changing chrome like Nike swoosh. A little hit of Volt Rubber. 200K on the back of both shoes in vivid blue with Nike in Volt. Your right shoe says thanks for your help on the insole. Your left shoe says Soul Collector Forums, 10 years, 200,000 members. These weren't released to the public. They were only given to Soul Collector employees and family and friends. One of my friends was actually lucky enough to be one of the people to receive them. Held on to them for a while, but decided to sell. Very glad I was able to swoop them up. Move those over. All right, so I got a Nike box. You see Nike in green, footwear in green, basketball in green. Then the front, bunch of multicolors, pink dots, the green line going across, Nike Hyperdunk Supreme, Jetstream White, I'm assuming Pool Blue. 2015 in parentheses. I'm going to open up the box. Right off the bat, you can see the paper. It says Great Scott. For those who haven't figured it out yet, that is a phrase from Doc in Back to the Future. You've got your hoverboard design on the side of the box. extra pink laces with blue tips and it looks like a white Nike swoosh alright let's get into the shoes these are the Marty McFly Hyper Dunks released in 2008 which initially kicked off the back to the future craze got your back to the future arrows on the tongue, different numbers that we're reading out on the little screen in the DeLorean. You see your little uh, fly wire detail. It's kind of like a clear. You can see through to the mesh below. That goes along with the pattern on the paper. Got your I believe I believe it was pool blue on your midsole pool blue speckling and I think that's the jet stream color your bottom sole white and blue this blue portion does glow in the dark blue Nike swoosh these did release in 08 so we got a tiny bit of yellowing up at the toe but I'm not worried about that. I'll definitely be wearing these. So I showed you Back to the Future arrows. On the other shoe, it says 2015 on the tongue. Nike on the back. And you can see these are the same type of speckling this is the same type of speckling you see on the midsole of the Nike mag. Your insole on the shoe is a more of a hoverboard detail. I'll go ahead and take those out because there actually is a graphic underneath the insole. So I took the insole out. You've got more of your hoverboard design. 
it says Hyperdunk and then the graphic underneath is the flux capacitor from the time machine so they went all out on these Hyperdunk Supremes from the box to the paper to the underneath the insole just like the Paranormans great release I was a dead man walking they say so every night I hit the J load the AK and post up in the window till come day anyway hey I feel the pay back simmering in my